Welcome to the virtual world created by us, Group 23, where we take you all on an interesting and exciting journey of the most mysterious land of Egypt. Ancient Egypt is a land of mysteries. No other civilization has so captured the imagination of scholars and lay people alike. Mystery surrounds its origin, its religion, and its monumental architecture, colossal temples, pyramids, and enormous sphinx. Let's unfold the mysterious past of the most interesting and exciting country. The Historical Rule of Nile River The Nile River is the longest river in the world. It is over 4,100 miles long. The Nile is located in Northeast Africa and flows through many different African countries including Egypt, Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda and Burundi. There are two major tributaries that feed the Nile, the White Nile and the Blue Nile. The Upper and Lower Parts of Egypt The Nile River flows north through Egypt and into the Mediterranean Sea. Ancient Egypt was divided into two regions, Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. This looks a bit confusion on map because Upper Egypt is to the south and Lower Egypt is to the north. This is because the names comes from flow of the river Nile. Building Material and Fertile Land The most important thing the Nile provided to the ancient Egyptians was fertile land. Most of the Egypt is desert, but along the Nile River, the soil is rich and good for growing crops. The three most important crops were wheat, flax and papyrus. Wheat, wheat was the main staple food of the Egyptians. They used it to make bread. They also sold a lot of their wheat throughout the Middle East helping the Egyptians to become rich. Flax was used to make linen cloth for clothing. This was the main type of cloth used by Egyptians. Papyrus was a plant that grew along the shores of Nile. The ancient Egyptians found many uses for this plant including paper basket, rope, sandals. Thinis was the capital city of the first dynasties of ancient Egypt. Thinis is yet undiscovered but well attested by ancient writers including the classical historian Manetto. Thinis began a steep decline in importance from dynasty III when the capital was relocated to Memphis, which was thought to be the first true and stable capital after unification of old Egypt by Menes. Memphis was the capital of Egypt from 2950 BC to 2180 BC. Some historians estimate that during its peak, Memphis was the largest city in the world. Memphis continued to be larger and important city in Egypt even after the capital was moved to Thebes. It was also a center of religion with many temples. The main god of Memphis was Pata, the creator god and the god of craftsmen. Thebes first became the capital of Egypt around 2135 BC. It served off and on as capital until around 1279 BC. Thebes and Memphis generally rivaled each other as the largest and greatest cities in Egypt. Thebes was an important political and religious city. It housed several major temples including Temple of Luxor and Temple of Karnak. The Valley of Kings is located near the city of Thebes. Alexandria served as the capital city from 332 BC to 641 AD. The city became the capital when Alexander the Great conquered Egypt. Alexandria remained the capital for nearly thousand years. 
In ancient times, city was famous for the lighthouse of Alexandria, which was one of the seven wonders of the world. It was also known as intellectual center of the world and home to the largest library in the world. Alexandria is located in the northern Egypt on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. It is the second largest city in Egypt today. Amarna was the capital city of Egypt during the region of Pharaoh Akhenaten. The Pharaoh created his own religion that worshipped the god Aten. He built the city to honor Aten. It was abandoned shortly after Akhenaten died. Abydos is a very old Egyptian city dating back to before the Old Kingdom. The city was considered one of the most holy places in Egypt because it was believed that the god Osiris was buried there. As a result, several temples were built in the city. The most famous surviving building is the Temple of Seti. Also, some of the first pharaoh of Egypt were buried near Abydos. Famous Temples of Egypt First, the Karnak Temple The Karnak Temple dates from around 2055 BC to around 100 AD. The cult temple dedicated to Amun, Mute and Khonsu, the largest religious building ever constructed. The Temple of Karnak was known as Epet Aizu or most select of places by the ancient Egyptians. A temple dedicated to him at the Karnak was built appropriately placed between the main sanctuary of Amun-Ra and the southern precinct that honored Mute. The temple is about 230 feet by 88 feet. The importance of Karnak resided in its being the contact point between Amun, the supreme ruler of the universe, and the Faroha, the supreme ruler on earth, who represented all Egyptian people. Next is the Luxure Temple. The temple was built by Amenhotep III but completed by Tutankhamun and Horemheb and then added to by Ramesses II. Toward the rear is a granite shrine dedicated to Alexander the Great. The Luxor temple was constructed of sandstone blocks from Nubia. The temple is surrounded by mud brick walls which symbolize the separation between the world and the sacred realm of gods. The temple has been in almost continuous use as a place of worship right up to the present day. Next is the Abu Simbel Temple. The twin temples were originally carved out of the mountainside in the 13th century BC during the 19th dynasty reign of the Pharaoh Aramis II. They serve as a lasting monument to the king and his queen Nefertari and commemorate his victory at the Battle of Kadesh. Almost 20 years ago, the monumental temples of Abu Simbel were threatened by the rising waters of Lake Nasir, but an international campaign saved them. Now they are threatened again by tourists swarming over them, birds nesting in them and winds blowing sand against them. Next, the temple of Edfu. It is one of the best preserved shrines in Egypt. The temple was built in the Ptolemaic kingdom between 237 and 57 BC. The inscriptions on its walls provide important information on language, myth and religion during the Hellenistic period in Egypt. In particular, the temple's inscribed building texts provide details of its constructions and also preserve information about the mythical interpretation of this and all other temples as the island of creation. There are also important scenes and inscriptions of the sacred drama which related the age-old conflict between Horus and Seth. They are translated by the German Edfu project. Next is a book named as the Book of Dead. The Book of Dead is a series of written spells that the ancient Egyptians believed helped them in the afterlife. It isn't one giant book but is more of a bunch of individual chapters. For centuries, Egyptian royalty guarded the sacred rituals that guaranteed divine favor after death. But over time, all Egyptians, both rich and poor, could possess its secrets. The Book of Dead helped Egyptians prepare for the afterlife where Osiris, 
god of the underworld would judge them now some interesting and fun facts about egypt the bandages of a mummy could stretch out to 1 mile 1.6 kilometers when unwrapped next both men and women in ancient egypt wore makeup some researchers believe it was effective as a sunscreen given its prevalence of use as shown in the picture next a common myth perpetuated by the greek historian herodotus is that the great pyramid was built by 1 lakh slaves archaeological evidence indicates that the great pyramid was actually built by a workforce of 5000 permanent salaried employees and up to 20000 temporary workers next ancient egyptians mummified not only humans but animals as well including many cats and at least one crocodile as you all can see in this picture now the next fact is beer was so important to ancient egyptians that it could be used as currency another fact is historical period commonly thought of as ancient egypt lasted for longer than most people realize for example cleopatra lived closer in time to present than she did to building of the great pyramids next everyday items such as paper keys and locks were invented in ancient egypt next when a body was mummified the brain was removed through one of the nostrils and the intestines were also removed and placed in canopic jars the only internal organ that was not removed was heart because ancient egyptians considered it to be seat of a soul next the great pyramid of giza contains at estimated 23 lakh separate stone blocks next ancient egyptians believed that earth was flat and round like a pancake and that the nile flowed through the center of it next inventions and discoveries of ancient egypt mathematics in history books the greeks often take the credit for inventing mathematics they were skilled in mathematics and astronomy but the truth is they learned it from egyptians next calendar and clock the uh, egyptians divided time into three main periods the inundation session which lasted for one third of the year the sowing and the growth of crops and the harvest now the next is government ancient egypt was a country ruled by law but it was also ruled by one man only the centralized figure of the pharaoh the sole responsibility was maintain universally harmony in the country next wine wine was a very popular drink in ancient egypt the egyptians may not have been the first invented but there is artwork from that time showing their manufacturing process which were very similar to ones we have today next mummification the ancient egypt believed in many gods and goddesses and they also strongly believed in afterlife so when a pharaoh died his ka or life force would leave his body but only temporarily on the other hand was a person's spirit it was important to preserve the body because the spirit would return to make this happen the ancient egypt created a process called mummification next pyramid the ancient pyramid are definitely at the top of the list of ancient egyptians inventions uh, they are among the most astonishing structure in the world and are solid geometrical shapes with a square base and four equal triangle sides now the next topic is sphinx and aliens the enduring mystery of ancient egypt's architecture 
So there are lot of researchers said that perfect alignment of pyramid can be made by humans without the help of aliens. This is one of the most mysterious topic about the pyramid. Even those 2.39 meter block can be pulled by humans. So this says that they can be used the help of alien technology. Egypt has also invited billionaire Elon Musk to come and visit its pyramid after he tweeted a conspiracy theory that aliens build the landmark. There are a lot of movies and TV shows also explain these things. For example, History TV, and uh, it was also explained by Rajesh Kumar, who is the owner of India's one of the biggest science and information channel named Fact Tags. He is India's first youngest YouTuber who achieved 10 million subscribers within three years. Beliefs of the Egyptians. The sun was a principal deity whose passage across the sky represented the eternal circle of birth, death, and rebirth. The pharaohs were seen as gods, divine representatives on earth, who through rituals ensured the continuation of life. After death, they become immortal, joining the gods in the afterworld. Egyptians also believed that the body, soul, were important to human existence in life and in death. Their funerary practices such as mummification and burial in tombs were designed to assist the deceased to find a way in the afterworld. The tombs were filled with food, tools, domestic wares and treasures and all necessities of life to ensure the soul's return to the body so that the deceased would live happily ever after. Various theories about Egypt Hidden rooms in the Great Pyramid of Giza it is a massive structure, almost 150 meters tall, built with more than 2.3 million stone blocks. And yet, up until recently, there only seemed to be three chambers inside. Moreover, despite no one getting into the shaft for nine years, fresh scratches had appeared on its walls and ceilings. A team scanned the pyramid in November 2017 to see if there was anything they've missed. Sure enough, above the great gallery of the pyramid, they found signs that there might be a large hidden chamber as large as the biggest room in the whole pyramid. The Lost Labyrinth of Egypt 2500 years ago, there was a massive labyrinth in Egypt that in the words of one who saw it, surpassed even the pyramids. It was a massive building, two stories tall. Inside, there was a unbelievable 3,000 different rooms with a maze of passages so complex that nobody could find their way out without a guide. Countless ancient writers described having seen it firsthand. But 2,500 years later, we still aren't sure where it is. The Unknown Queen of Egypt In 2015, Archaeologists stumbled upon the tomb of a woman who was buried among the great pyramids of the Old Kingdom of Egypt. In her tomb were inscriptions calling her both the wife of the king and the mother of the king. Historians believe she may have been the wife of Pharaoh Neferfri and the mother of Pharaoh Mekahur, but they really aren't sure about it. 4,500 years ago, when this woman was alive, she would have been one of the most important persons on the planet. The Sphinx of Israel In 2013, in Tel Hazur, Israel, archaeologists found something they'd never expected to find so far away from Egypt. A 4,000-year-old Egyptian Sphinx. Especially, they found the paws of the statue resting on a base. The rest of it, it's believed, was deliberately destroyed thousands of years ago. Nobody knows what an Egyptian statue was doing in Israel. The only clue left behind is an inscription on the base that bears the name King Mycerinus, the name of a pharaoh who ruled over Egypt around 2500 BC. 
The Mysterious Death of King Tut King Tut was only 19 years old when he died, and nobody knows for sure what happened. His death is a complete mystery, but not because he was in the prime of his life. The reason that King Tut's death is such a mystery is that there were so many things wrong with him that it's hard to tell which one finished him off. He was in a terrible health. He had malaria for one thing and he was born with so many genetic disabilities that the archaeologists were convinced that his parents have been brothers and sisters. He also had a fractured skull for a long time and was thought by archaeologists to be a sign that he had been stabbed in the head. The only thing we know for sure is that he didn't get a lot of good news in his last month alive. The mummy wrapped in a foreign book. The mummy had been wrapped in the line and pages of a book and it wasn't written in Egyptian. It took years of investigation to figure out what language it was. But today we know that it was written Etruscan, the language of an ancient civilization that once lived in modern day Italy. It's a language we know little about. There are still a lot of questions left unanswered. For one thing, we still don't know what the text says. We can only understand a few words which seem to be dates and names of God and beyond that we can only speculate as to what it means or why anyone would wrap it around a dead body. The Destroyed Pyramid The Pyramid of Dedefre should have the highest point of any pyramid in Egypt. He made sure of it. He didn't have the resources to build the biggest pyramid, but he used a little work around to make sure the tip of his tomb was just a little bit taller than everybody else's. He built it on a hill. For some reason though, while all the other pyramids of Egypt are still standing after thousands of years, Nidifre's pyramid alone has been totally destroyed. All that is left is the base. Nobody is entirely clear on what happened to it, but there are certain theories. Some think that he simply died before they were able to get much of the work done and his pyramids was left in ruins. And still, others think that people of Egypt just really, really hated him. So much that they were willing to pull apart an entire pyramid just out of spite. The Disappearance of King of Queen Nefertiti Queen Nefertiti is legendary for being one of the few women to rule over Egypt. And yet, while the tombs of other pharaohs still tower over Egypt today, nobody has ever found her final resting place. The search for a tomb has gone on for years. Up until 2018, archaeologists were almost convinced that they found her burial place in the secret chamber hidden in the King Tut's tomb. In May, though they meticulously scanned the wall and found that there was nothing there. The Lost Land of Pud Ancient Egyptian writings are full of references to a place called Pun. It was an ancient African kingdom full of gold, ivory and exotic animals that excited the Egyptians' imagination. There is no question that Pun existed. There are countless mentions of it in ancient writings. But despite how powerful and important this place must have been, we have never found it. Conspiracies of Egypt. The Spins of Giza is the oldest structure on earth. There is a surprisingly a high amount of evidence to support the notion that this great spinnix of Giza is way older than our history books have taught us in school. This theory begins with a researcher named Robert Swatch, effectively proved that spinnix was more than 12,000 years old and did by analyzing the documented history of repairs and references to the phoenix while studying the history of star maps that have helped the ancient Egyptians to build the phoenix. Egyptians used sonic sound to achieve levitation. Ancient Egypt theorists and avid conspiracy theorists in general have suggested that the sound used to achieve immense power when utilized correctly. 
although there are no physical evidence to support this ancient Egyptian times. The suggestion from conspiracy theorists is that Egyptians were able to use sonic sounds to manipulate physical objects. The signs supposedly relating to this extremely complicated but allegedly related to sound waves resonating with objects with the exact same frequency, meaning they can affect the way the object behaves under the force of gravity. Ancient Egyptians are aircraft. The idea that ancient Egypt may have somehow possessed the incredible futuristic technology is not a new one. Steaming from the idea of extraterrestrial intervention, this is one of the most controversial theories appear on the list. This aircraft theory comes from the discovery of hyperglyplex that appear to depict modern looking boats as well as helicopters and planes. Conspiracy theorists use this as evidence to prove that the ancient Egyptians were regularly visited and influenced by the alien race known as Anukai. The reptilian-like race allegedly visited the ancient Egyptians and gifted them with phenomenal knowledge on science and mathematics. However, the main defense against the theory from the expert is that caste mentioning of the said aircraft. If the ancient Egyptians really did have modern speedboats and helicopter, then surely they would have been mentioned in the hieroglyphics and the scriptures much more often. Also, pharaohs would have surely wanted to be buried with aircraft and boat parts, but nothing more remotely similar to these parts have been excavated from the ancient Egyptian tomb. How Ancient Egypt Shaped the Modern World The 140-meter pyramid that still casts a shadow over the sands of Giza is surely the greatest legacy of ancient Egypt. However, there are many everyday items, practices and customs that we now take for granted which would not exist were it not for ancient Egypt. Communication It's no secret that the way we communicate with each other dates back to the ancient Egypt. Not only did they influence speech and writing, but also the way we measure the modern world and express time are also based on Egyptian inventions. The birth of language. Ancient Egypt is one of the oldest language in the world. Surviving for 5,000 years, its lifespan was longer than any other language. There were five phases included in the ancient Egyptian language. The Old Egyptian, the Middle Egyptian, Late Egyptian, Demotic and the Coptic. Ancient Egyptians used thousands of pictographic signs in their writings in order to suggest sound and provide meaning to it. Some historians say the first known instance of complete sentence was carved into a cylindrical seal belonging to a pharaoh, Seth Peripsin, near the end of Second Dynasty. The discovery of the Rosetta Stone in 1799 was the key to decoding ancient Egyptian language. The stone was inscribed with a religious decree in three different languages, hieroglyphic, demotic, and the Greek. After fighting the Hittite Empire for over two centuries, the two sides negotiated the first peace treaty in history. Making history, most hieroglyphic writings was inscribed in stone. But the Egyptians were the first people to use paper-like material made from the papyrus plant for writing. Papyrus, from which we get the modern word paper, is a writing material made from the papyrus plant, a reed which grows in the marshy areas around the Nile River. Papyrus was used as a writing material as early as 3000 BC in ancient Egypt and continued to be used to some extent until around 1100 AD. Measuring the world The Egyptians invented a 354-day lunar calendar made up of 12 months that correlated with lunar cycle. It was split into three seasons that reflected the natural cycle of River Nile, flood, spring and the low water. The year started with the reappearance of the star Sirius which signaled the rising of the River Nile. A 365-day civil calendar was later invented 
consisting of 12 lunar months of 30 days still split into three seasons and five extra days at the end of the year. It was not until 30 BC that the Romans added an extra day to every fourth year to give us the basis of the calendar we use today. Farming Egyptian farmers were the first people to use sickle blades and plows driven by oxen. Cattle made it much quicker and easier to loosen the dry soil. Observing the cycle of Nile allowed Egyptian farmers to pioneer early irrigation systems. Craftsmanship Egyptians were pioneers of metallurgy. They were the first people to make tools from bronze by fusing copper and tin rather than depending on stone and wood. Some of the metal tools first made by Egyptians included weapons such as swords, helmets and shields, hunting materials such as knives, fishing hooks, arrowheads, carpentries like chisels, axes and saws. The pottery wheel was a major Egyptian invention. It allowed Egyptian potters to mass produce crockery and vases. Construction Historians believe the Egyptians were the first builders known to man. They erected temples and tombs, floored and roofed with boards of timber, rebuilt royal houses and refurbished murals. Indoor lightning was invented using candles and oil lamps. The concept of a master bedroom was first seen in ancient Egypt. Today, Egyptian archaeologists are still making important discoveries, proving theories and scientific studies of royal mummies, which is shedding light on the genealogy of pharaohs. The pharaonic religion gives the impression that the Egyptians were preoccupied with death. However, there are ample indications that they were a lot happy who knew how to enjoy life. My team members and I hope that you got a good insight into the fascinating land of Egypt. There are still many questions left unanswered, many unproven theories and crazy conspiracies about Egypt which will keep the mystery of Egypt alive. Thank you.